Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Dreamforce. All excited about what Alexa is going to do today? <laughs> OK, this is our forward-looking statement, which is to ensure you do not make any purchasing decisions based on what you see here today, but use the publicly available information. Let me introduce my team to you. We represent Salesforce IT applications. Myself, Sanjeev Arora, Director for IT Applications, and I have with me Seth Anderson, who is Engineering Manager, and Paul, our lead developer, who is going to run the show. <laughs> so innovation and agility are key at Salesforce. We explore new methods to improve security, experience, collaboration, and efficiency across the teams. We run an innovation program within Salesforce IT where we try various new ideas to explore. And today, what we're going to share is one of the 40 ideas we worked on last year. It is voice automation of our Agile Accelerator. We'll talk about Agile Accelerator as well. It's a tool that we use in our Agile methodology here. It's a keen integration between Salesforce platform, Heroku, and Alexa. Uh, I will have a say talk through the use case and take you through the journey. Thanks, Sanjeev. Can everybody hear me OK? OK, good. Uh, so basically, the background on this is this was a POC that we did in a hack day. So you can imagine we started at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And by the end of the day, probably, what, 8 o'clock at night, we were finished. Uh, so this is something you could really take back to your hotel and crank out tonight if you wanted to, uh, if you had a, a strong team with you. Um, uh, the, so there's really kind of a general use case and a specific use case. I'll start with the specific use case, and then we'll get into a demo. So what we do uh, as a Agile Scrum team is we have sprint planning and uh, backlog grooming sessions where we have sort of dynamic meetings where we don't want folks to have to leave the meeting in order to get some data uh, or sort of pull up a laptop in order to create a story. So you can see the, in the, on the orange box there, we have a create story intent that we built uh, as an interface from Alexa into Salesforce, into the Agile Accelerator platform. Uh, the other thing that we do is we do like a team health intent where we can get the previous six weeks worth of, of uh, sprint velocity. So it kind of informs our decision making process uh, during our sprint planning sessions. And then lastly, the future velocity intent will look forward and take into account out of office uh, employees and kind of guess at what our uh, sprint velocity should be going forward. Um, so before we get into the demo, the general use cases for this are really kind of unlimited, right? You can get access to sales pipeline reports or lead data entry, which leads is the area that we work on specifically. But any objects in the Salesforce system that you need data from, you could potentially craft an intent around. Um, other Salesforce data, like I said, and then we've thought about applying this voice model to other virtual assistants. So think of uh, Google Home, Google's Assistant, um, or uh, Siri. So let's get into a quick demonstration, shall we? So, uh, this demonstration is going to be, I'll, be, I'll play the Scrum Master, Paul's the dev lead, Sanjeev is going to be our product owner. All right, so uh, guys, I was thinking about this last night. Before we start sprint planning, we've really got to create a story for that backlog item that we had, uh, that we had identified last week. So I'm going to do that now. Alexa, ask Salesforce to create a story. What should the story title be? Lead enrichment. What should the story rank be? 10. What should the story theme be? KLO. Story created in the backlog. All right, perfect. Thanks, Alexa. And <laughs> you can see Paul is demonstrating the story created in the backlog. OK, so guys. We've got our story created. Uh, sprint planning's primed and ready to go. What should we do next? So that's great, Seth. Thanks for giving us some work. But before I accept that work, I'd really like to understand you know, how much work I can take. So let's check out how we've been doing. Alexa, ask Salesforce how, we, how our team is doing. During the last three sprints, you have spent most of your time in KLO. Your average velocity was 11 points. You have three 
epics that are greater than 75% complete per dot, SFX, KLO. Great, so we had good velocity in the past, but we have holidays coming. So let's see how our future look like. Alexa, ask Salesforce, how does our future look like? Your projected future velocity is seven points because Anuj Gudavada will be out of office. Your future velocity would be four points higher if Anuj Gudavada was not out of office. Perfect. Okay. So apparently, you know, we've got an out of office coming. We've got an expected lower velocity. So you can see what we did there. Really, we were able to look past behind us, see how our past performance is, look forward. And then we were also able to create a story to get our, our sprint planning going, all without kind of leaving the context of the meeting. So let's see how the tech works. And Paul's going to do a deep dive for us. Go ahead, Paul. Thank you, Seth. So there are three main parts to what we put together today. Obviously, the Salesforce org is key. Uh, that has our Agile Accelerator Managed Package, and I'll show, share a little more detail with that in the upcoming slide. Um, this is where all of our sprint data resides. It's where we're storing which team members are out of office and obviously how well we're doing in terms of velocity. Uh, then we have our custom skill service. So we developed a Java-based uh, skill service based on the Alexa Skills Kit SDK. That was a real easy way to get started. And then we deployed that to Heroku. So now that's just running on Heroku, uh, ready to go, scalable, uh, and again, really easy to get going. And then finally, the Alexa skill itself defines the custom skill metadata, uh, defines what the invocation word is. You heard us say the word ask Salesforce. And then we used it to help train the model with the various uh, variations in our intents. So I'm going to take you through each one of those in turn. Uh, the first one here is the Agile Accelerator. So this is just a screenshot of you know, a typical backlog. You can see where we've got assignments, we've got stories, uh, maybe some bugs in there as well. And you can, if you've not used this before, this is a really cool tool. It's from Salesforce Labs. Uh, you can download it for free from the App Exchange. This is just a flow diagram showing you uh, what happened when we did the demo. You heard us speak. Um, we triggered the skill with the Ask Salesforce keyword. Um, and then Alexa recognized uh, the intent that we were interested in uh, getting data back from. That intent was translated um, by our custom skill and then mapped to an Apex REST endpoint, which provided the data to, that we needed to construct the voice response. Now, the voice response was actually constructed in the Java uh, servlet that's, again, hosted on Heroku. And then Alexa took care of, uh, as you heard, uh, saying the words for us. I'm going to go through um, some code now. Um, we're going to look at the interaction model, the intent handler, and the Apex REST. Re oh, there we go. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. Thank Give this guy an awesome hand. <laughs> All right. So I will try not to rush through this too much as we lost a little bit of time. But this is your JSON uh, file that's defining the intent. And then the various slots, which serve as uh, basically variables in the create story dialog. Um, we train the model with some sample utterances. So again, these are just variations on how humans might speak the intent so Alexa can recognize that. And then over here on developer.amazon.com, we've defined the skill, we've given it our invocation name, and that's where those uh, files, that data goes. I'm going to take you through the um, Java piece now. So again, the Alexa Skills Kit SDK is a real handy way to get started. It provides some built-in methods um, when the skill is launched and when the intent is received. So I'm showing you the on intent method here. The on intent method takes the, uh, what it understands to be the request from the user. And the way that we've handled authentication here is we've, connect, we've created a connected app in Salesforce. And then in our Alexa skill, we've used the account linking feature. Let me just show you where that is. So account linking um, just gives us our basic, uh, basically sets up our OAuth flow. We got the client ID from the connected app in Salesforce. Um, and then we've set up the authorize and the refresh URLs there as well. So Alexa already, given that I've linked the account um, with my user in my Alexa app on my phone, I've already got an access token here. As long as it's valid, I'll go ahead and proceed and parse out which intent uh, the user wishes to complete. In the team health response, this, I'll walk you through this. 
So here we're calling our uh, REST service, our Team Health Apex REST service. I'll show you that in just a minute. Um, and again, as long as the uh, refresh to or the access token is valid, um, we'll go ahead and retrieve the data from the Salesforce org. In this case, I'm just returning a JSON object that I need to access the data and then construct the voice response. The voice response here is uh, in the format of SSML. This is an Amazon speech markup language. Um, it just controls the, the intonation as well as allows you to control like which, which words are spelled out or which words are numbers. And it just gives a little more realistic sound to the response rather than sounding like a robot. Um, finally here, I'm, just, I'm also returning a card in the uh, Alexa app. So that card is just another visual indicator that the user can see on their phone if they wish to. After that, we're just returning a tell response. So the tell response issues the voice uh, in the form of a statement rather than a question. Now I'm going to take you on a journey through the Apex REST class. So again, the, the REST service that we are writing in Apex and hosting on our Salesforce org is retrieving the data that we need to construct the response. So in this case, this is Team Health. Um, I'm, I'm interested in, you heard the, the uh, service respond with the most used theme. So here I'm running some basic SQL queries from the Sprint data, and I'm uh, you know, parsing out a few date ranges and basically getting my usage counts from my theme. And at the end of the day, what this is going to do is map it up to um, a, a wrapper object. Um, and again, that, that ends up being translated into JSON so I can easily uh, access that data from the Java side. OK. So the, uh, we head back to the presentation here. Uh, that, those are, again, the main three pieces of the tech. So I want to give you some resources that you can use in case you want to try this on your own. OK. So we've got designing for voice. Um, if you happen to be uh, attending the last session, it was a great introduction to what you need to think about when you're designing different voice dialogues. It's obviously a little bit different than divine, des designing a, a screen interface or a mobile interface. So this is a great resource just to get started and kind of wrap your, wrap your head around some rich ways to create voice, interesting voice dialogues. The Alexa Skills Kit SDK, that's available on GitHub. Um, again, you can grab that, and it's a great way to get started. Uh, there's, there, if you're not interested in Java, there's also Python, Node, et cetera, versions of that that you can check out. And then uh, Heroku, if you've not used Heroku before, which I had not when I started using this, um, I spend a few minutes kind of going through the Java tutorial. Um, and then I use the Maven deploy plugin with Heroku, which made it super simple. Once I had my Java piece uh, written, then I just deployed that. Uh, and I was good to go. And then Agile Accelerator, again, uh, that's the managed package from Salesforce Labs that you can download and, and start running your sprints from there. So thank you for your time today. Um, it's really fun to put this together during Hackathon. We, we certainly learned a lot. And I hope that I've given you guys some insights and inspiration as well. So any Q&A, please uh, let us know. The question is, can we eliminate the Heroku layer? You don't have to use Heroku to host the Java piece, but you, you do need some sort of middleware that's going to connect from your Alexa service to your Salesforce org, whether it's, whether it's Java, it's kind of up to you. And whether it's hosted on Heroku, you could, you could easily host it on other services as well if you'd like to. What, what? Can you say that again? And your Apex layer classes connect to what? You could. I can't. Could you go direct, directly from Alexa to Salesforce? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> 
So I'm saying, uh, can we have a two-way connectivity between Alexa and Salesforce directly instead of having a middleware? In yes, there? you could. It would be a lot more work because there wasn't a kit to put that together. But technically, you could. Yeah. Thanks. Any other questions? So if you have um, Alexa connected to Salesforce, as far as the feedback goes, are you storing that on the Alexa side or in Salesforce? Could you actually store the type of feedback you'd you'd give to uh, the feed define feedback? What do you mean? Um, you know, create a lead. Oh, I see. Okay. Which record type would you like to select? Right. You know? So the. Uh, the dialogue is controlled partly by the metadata that I showed you in that um, developer.salesforce.com skill, or developer.amazon.com skill. So you can see that here, right? Uh, th that's partly defining the dialogue that's mapped to the intent. And then the actual spoken words, that was delivered by the Java service. So yeah. Okay, so in gen like you, you won't really be doing any of that in on the Salesforce side. No. Um, to his question, if I wanted to do this all like directly from Alexa to Salesforce, I probably could. It would just be a lot, a lot of additional work. For sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Any other question? Uh so, uh, <clears throat> so when you are sending a voice command like uh, creating a lead, mm -hmm. uh, you can have multiple domains, right? Or uh, is that only one single domain which you can connect from Alexa? Yeah, so uh, I can't show you my Alexa app, but I, if you come up afterwards, I can show you how the linking works. But basically, if, if I've associated, an Alexa device can only be associated with one account at a time. So in this case, I linked up my Salesforce org credentials um, with this particular device on using my app on the phone. So if you, if you want this thing to push to multiple domains, I suppose you could do that in your middle layer, and you, it could respond back on the first response saying, which org do you want to connect to? And then you could somehow do it that way. Uh, OK. Yeah. And also, uh, the response that uh, we are getting from Salesforce, mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, store that as activities or something, or uh, even make a call out to a different uh, mission, like you want to create a Jira, uh, based yeah. on what you're doing, you can do a call out from there, uh, yep. and uh, you can send the response back, right? To yep. Okay. yep. Yeah, that, the, uh, if you want to make a call out from the Salesforce side, you could do that. You could also do it from the middleware and the, uh, with the Java side as well. OK, how, how would it uh, manage the response, meaning both are asynchronous, right? How would it Can you put your mic a little closer? Uh, sorry, both are asynchronous. How would it manage the response? So would it wait for the response, or how would you? At this point, what I've shown you today is all synchronous. So it's going to wait for a response back from the REST service. OK, yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, yeah. Basically, it's all, I don't think there's a great way to do it asynchronously, since the user's on this end waiting for a response. Yeah. One last question. We have 20 seconds left. <laughs> and we'll stick around afterwards, so. Oh, this is a tough question coming. <laughs> I noticed that Alexa said that you guys are spending too much time on KLO. Is your product <laughs> manager not doing her job? I knew you would catch that. So KLO is maybe not the best place to spend most of our time. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>